One of the greatest examples of this, of course, is the character of Erica Kane. Don't you ever get tired of getting my leftovers? I mean, she is the ultimate love to hate her villain. Frankly, the creation of her enabled J.R. Ewing in prime time, the, the ultimate bad guy you loved to hate. <laughs> Let's not kid ourselves. The bad guys finish first, don't they? When I play that kind of character, I want to give it everything I can. So when the hero kills me or thwarts me in the end, it's more satisfying for the audience. You really want that guy to get it. The story editor, Dal, said, why don't we just shoot the son of a bitch? Who shot J.R. Frenzy was front page news. The most watched TV episode ever. 350 million people worldwide. It was on the cover of every magazine, and it was a big deal. It was a really big deal. People wanted more. There's even this Who Shot J.R. poll. People's asking everybody to vote. And Americans aren't the only ones crazed by the Dallas Syndrome. Tonight, when the culprit is fingered, Air France pilots will alert passengers over the Atlantic. We were presented to the Queen Mother, and she says, I don't suppose you could tell me who shot J.R.? I said, no, ma'am, not even you. <laughs> it was a big deal to a lot of people. Who did shoot J.R.? Who shot this man? Nobody seems to know. The campaign just went on and on and on, and they milked it. Who shot JR was a phenomenon. Who shot JR? Who shot JR? Who shot JR? I don't even know who shot him. Who shot him, by the way? I shot JR. I just thought that was great, great storytelling across the board.